Uh, Ryan's here. Welcome to the stream. I'm Ryan Phantom. Take a fucking sip, babe. Remember Homestuck? I try not to. It's uh, time for Befriend Us, because they put out a new intermission. Uh, and I haven't done Homestuck in a while, because I tend to try to forget it exists. But, every once in a while, there's a little, little, there's a little Homestuck, there's a little glimmer of hope on the horizon. And I look at it, and I go, what's that? And it's Befriend Us. And it brings me back. And I go, that's right. 
Befriend us is good. I, I think about it. I think deep down. I'm like, what's good in Homestuck? Homestuck 2, no. Epilogues, no. Befriend us, yes. And that's why we're going to be playing Befriend us today. They put out Intermission 2. And it's time to go ahead and uh, do that. I also have to check out Distant Quest as well. Because they put out, uh, I think I'm behind about, like, a couple releases. I don't know if that's two volumes or four volumes, technically, but, uh, yeah. So we're gonna play some Befriend Us, and then I'm gonna go back to Persona 5, because, uh, I am really into Persona 5 right now, so we're gonna do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this first, to appease the Homestuck fans. Specifically on YouTube and Twitter who keep tagging me and stuff being like, when are you going to play this? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just some guy. I'm just some guy. Alright, so we're going to do this. Intermission 2. A cold shoulder. I have my water. I'm already... Oh. <gasps> there she is. Say the line, Homestuck boy. Uh, d d d take a fucking sip, babe. Welcome to the stream. Your name is Arania Circuit. It's been a long night. Through a series of seemingly impossible events, you whipped up enough of your thesis to rest your mind for two shakes of a wool beast tail before taking the stage and throwing your work to the sharks. I forgot this music kind of slaps. There was more to do, of course. There's always more to do when it comes to your projects, personal or otherwise. But the conference came and went, and you're simply waiting on the results now. This is, of course, a convenient opportunity for you to tend to something that's been itching in the back of your think pan all night. You've pried your eyes away from Scorpina's journal long enough. Like a magnet, your hands clasp the cover, seat the leather tome in your lap, and skim the pages in a panic frenzy. There is no pleasure reading, not by a long shot. You forgo the typical routine of lighting candles or fussing with your cushions until you find a reading position you can tolerate for long enough and read like the wind. What does it mean? What in before us could it possibly mean? You're of course speaking with nobody in particular, but the little test rodent running the wheel inside your skull, the test rodent merely squeaks and continues to run in place, going nowhere by itself. Your new alien friend isn't around for you to ask anymore, despite your invitations to stay. But you could always ask them diligently. Duh. Di what did that say? Dil diligently? Hold on. I always ask them digitally. Ryan forgot how to read today. Or you could avoid the middleman altogether and ask for more direct contact. The journal was, after all, discovered in her palace. You have no idea how your new alien companion discovered it in the palace, but it's been burning a hole in your curiosity for longer than you can remember at this point. You're thankful. Mildly suspicious that they refrain from providing more details, but thankful all the same. Palace, you say. Doo -doo 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 -doo. By the way, I did check the warnings before the stream, and the warnings were NA for this one. So there, there were no warnings for this one. If it was found in Mina's palace, Mina's the one to talk to. You hit up the flack, your personal messenger of choice. Sleek and professional, if perhaps a bit square. It seems Mina's online, which works wonders for you. Moon. Moon. Moon girl. Hey there. Apologies. Tonight has been somewhat hectic. Perhaps that's a minor understatement. Having a close encounter with poor, hornless kind is a big deal. And that's without bearing my thesis to the world on top of it all. Yeah, Homeless got a real knack for popping in and out of the blue, like some kind of ninja fireworks show. Yeah, welcome back to Bad Australian, kind of. Did they explode uh, epically in the room out of curiosity, yes and no? There were no extravagant explosives. We merely met on the steps of fate. Boring, but unquestionably safe. Regardless, that's not the subject I came to you to discuss. I got my hands on a very peculiar book. Bejeweled finger hovering dangerously close to the block button. A book found in your palace, to be specific. What? 
Do we got books in there? Still don't see how any of this is my business, though. Oh, I don't know. A journal written by my ancestor discovered in your palace. The owner of which my ancestor was romantically engaged with. Does that spice the situation up enough to earn your intrigue? A little. Red or black. Mate spritz. She makes a point of mentioning it semi-frequently. Okay, but why is old grandmother grub guppy packing the diary? Smear chocolate all over your leg. Oh. Kind of creepy if you ask me. That's why I'm asking you. You ask a lot of questions, and I hope you're answering Ray Ray. <laughs> With no hope of answering Ray Ray. Axolotls are freshwater amphibians, actually, not fish. Just putting that out there. There's a suspiciously long pause before our next response. For a moment, you wonder if she really did hit the block button. But your checking for notifications yields no such news. Look, I didn't know this big fucking off. This big fuck of brick of. What? Fuck off, oh. <laughs> I didn't know this big fuck off break of pages existed two seconds ago. Why would you think I know literally anything about it? Tell me about it. About it. <laughs> about it. Oh, I can't not ask you for at least some input, given the journal's suspicious location. Unfortunately, it seems as if I'm back to square one. Maybe I should try a different cipher to try and break some codes. Are you telling me you're looking for hidden messages? In a diary. You know, the book she writes in for her eyes only. You seriously think there's going to be some kind of secret conspiracy you're going to pull out of your ass on this one? Piracy. Conspiracy. Why? Call it my circuit's intuition. She may well not be a fan of books, but I know a good storyteller when I see one. And storytellers can never resist having a little fun whenever they put words to a page. Do you put cryptic riddle BS in your diary? I do not have a diary. Ahem. Nah, that's cool. I'll tell you what. I'll trade you. You're lying. Damn you, good. Come on, though. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god, the puns are so... are so hard on me. Oh, spicy. What's the spicy goss? Mina. Just one tidbit. Mina, what if you die tomorrow and people want to know how cool and deep and mysterious you were? Nox, this basically proves that there are no more Homestuck fans left. This chat is so empty. Homestuck is dead, finally. Maybe I could just stop putting out Homestuck videos and nobody will actually give a shit. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm completely and utterly done with this conversation. Good day, Mina. Whatever time it is for you right now. I got a text message. Oh. oh, my barbershop appointment has been confirmed. Hooray. A good lunar evening? Uh, you know what I mean. Goodbye. With a huff, you pull yourself away from the conversation. I cannot believe you completely flubbed the end like that. You must have sounded so awkward. You suppose you can't really tell for sure, since your psychic gift of empathy isn't well equipped for online conversations. Conflicted parts of you internally debate the pros and cons of not knowing for sure, while the flesh puppet on the outside flops into your recuperacoon in defeat. Stupid, 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 stupid. This is gonna haunt you for sweeps to come. You just know she's laughing at you on the other side of the screen, screenshotting your limp excuse of an exit and spreading it like wildfire among your friend group. You mute the group chat's notifications preemptively before burying your palm husk deep, deep within your Silidex via your Dewey Decimal Fetch Modus. As the pool of silver slime envelops you, you find yourself drifting off. Your worries may not be soothed, but your body sure as hell is. Where would you be without silver? Your name is Mina Pisces, and you're presently on the moon. You're not exactly sure what just happened. Arania just kind of flipped her lid a little, and you're left confused and, yeah, no, just confused. Rania goes offline after a moment, so bugging her isn't going to do you much good, tempting as it is. Part of you wants to try anyways, though, just because you're pretty used to getting what you want. But no, the tiny little Rania in your head is telling you what a dumb idea that is, and that you should try talking to someone else instead. Not a lot of peeps are up right now, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Holy shit. That's a lot of people. 
Hold on. It's a Trojan. Og I, that's that's um, that's my tuna. Who's this? Who's the red one? Wouldn't that be what's his face? Tankry. This one is Mulin. This one is uh the um Horum. And this one's just fucking <laughs> That's just that's just Arania again. Alright, let's see. Might appear offline, but everyone knows he just keeps his status on incognizant constantly to avoid interaction. Unfortunately, you don't doubt he'd give two shits about Arania, so he'd never respond anyways. Systemic glossary. Ha! You'd prefer to have your problems solved this century, thank you. Acute courtship. Meh. Gaia abdicated. Eh, you'll think about it. With a heavy sigh... You swallow your pride and give Forum a bother via Trollian. Your friends have been pushing you to switch to Flak, but you're just about as stubborn as they come. It's a miracle you're letting yourself ask for someone for help in the first place. No, no, you're not asking for help. This is like demanding someone else fix a problem you may or may not have. You're the boss of ordering people around. This is right up your alley. Imagine Meng Mulin. Yeah, I know. Poor, poor May, help me out. Your girl's in deep over here. Your tentative highness, what have you broken this time? Okay, first of all, Rude, I haven't broken shit since I got here, bitch. Nothing to break in the first place. Chin up, Mina. I'm positive you'll find a way before long. Seriously, though, if you expect me to be of any assistance, which I'm very reluctant to do in the first place, you're going to have to fill me in. I'm surprised you aren't turning into Arania for this, in all honesty. Or is that the problem here? Fuck, slow down. There, those are wild, but somewhat accurate accusations. Accusations? Ah, accusations. Oh, I, I automatically corrected in my head. You know, it's way less cool when you break it down like that. You'll survive. While you're busy with that, mind confirming or denying? Yeah, I'm Flout Chetaclu's re Arania front. One sec, we were goofing and gaffing like two hunkin' in inverticized cyst inverted sisters at Clown Church. Next sec, she swims off, and I'm sitting here like, girl, what the fuck you going? Then she goes offline from the look of things. They are good. I love these sprites. The, 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 for Friendus, I have, I have said this. I have said this on Twitter. And I have said this everywhere. But Friendus is the one Homestuck thing left. Well, Distant Quest as well, but uh, Befriendus I look forward to the most because I love, I love everything about it. It's so, it's good. The sprites are so fucking top notch too. Yeah. So what do I do? That's certainly a broad question. I sure, like cutting my work out for me, Mina. Not that I have any intention of sticking my cartilage nub where it doesn't belong, but you really aren't giving me much to go off of here. I'm up vague Gossip Creek over here. What do you want from me? Context for starters. Unless you were being literal referring to your religious hootenannies, to which I point you in the direction of a more slimy friend. Sick wordplay, BT dubs. I try. You spend the next few minutes catching poor him up with the situation. Ancestor left a journal in your wrinkly loose's throne, Arania got it, she got grumpy and suspicious about something, and then she just left. From her ancestor? Shit, that's nothing to sneeze at. Not every day you get Ancestor's treasure just like that dropped in your lap. Well, this far down the spectrum anyways. Let me tell you, it's nothing worth screaming over. Wouldn't care less if it were me. My ancestor wrote books that were too big, that were too, what's the big deal? This is Arania we're talking about here, Mina. I think you're forgetting that books mean a lot to her, much less someone with very little knowledge of her ancestor. Am I wrong? Yeah, I guess. Don't mean I gotta like it though. I don't know. I'm not your auspicious. I'm not your auspicious, and certainly don't intend to start. Sometimes you need to grow some chitin and make your men yourself. You know, like a friend. Ah! This kind of friend jam is wave out of my leagues. 
Oh, 50 of them. Every last one of those suckers. All the leagues can't even come close. Seems like you could do with some lessons on boldness from our alien friend. They have to seem they seem to have this friendship thing pretty in the bag, if you ask me. If ever there was a candidate for mediation, I think they'd be pretty high up there. If you're really that invested in sharing this seemingly personal issue. Now there's an idea. You the best poor and peace out. I was being sarcastic. Godspeed, Eris apparent. You're gonna need it. You don't know why you didn't think of it before. The new schmuck on the block is all about gushy friendship stuff. You have half a mind to make them resolve this issue for you. They're the one with the fancy zappy pants or however the hell they jump around the globe like a hyperactive cannonball. They're still very much moonbound. Hey, it's us! Guys, it's us! Your fingers hit the cyber pavement and thankfully, a non-zero amount of spamming their inbox leads to them magically being around to respond to you. Perfect. Despite how sick you're getting of explaining the same predicament you found yourself in, you relay the whole mess again just for a few moments before... Oh my god. You relay the whole mess again for a few moments before just straight up copying and pasting the explanation you send for them. They're telling you pretty quickly that they have an idea. Awesome. So you can lead them to it? Uh, they're asking how busy you are, like, right this second. You're suspicious as hell, but ultimately... Tell them that that you're just kind of kicking your feet up over here. Not much to do on the moon. Hi there, they say suddenly right behind you. Fucking hell! In a flesh, you're, in a flash, your Solidex ejects one of your smaller, more aerodynamic, but still very stabby tridents at what you assume for a split second is a deadly moon predator. Thankfully, it's just Zappy 2.0, and super thankfully, you narrowly avoid turning them into a kebab. The Trident goes soaring off into the distance. God, you really can't warn me before you materialize into existence or something? We were just having a conver conversation. Don't tell me you had no chance. It seems that the very concept of you not already being privy to their plan hadn't occurred to them. And now they're acting all embarrassed about totally beefing it. Let me check something. I can turn off puns. I'm not gonna, but I, but I can turn up, I love, I say this every time, and I'm sorry for sounding like a broken record, I love the options to turn off quirks and puns. And it, uh, by the way, this automatically updates. When there's a new version out, it automatically updates. I'm kind of making a whole pity party about it. The longer they apologize for startling you, like, uh, you, the further back your peep bulbs roll into your skull. Oh, cray, oh, cray. Just shut the fuck up. I forgive you. He's crying. You getting poked would have done you less good, uh, than me, so whatever. Tell me, though, why the fuck are you here? Mina, they say to you. You are going to become the queen of making up. Do I look excited about you dragging me into this? Do I gotta poke new holes in your head to see out of? Well, okay, sure, they do seem to be springing this on you kind of suddenly. But they point out that from what you yourself told them, you were dragged into this from the start. It was dragged into you. You immediately regret trying to ask them for help. They look so optimistic and supportive, it's sickening. They start telling you that deep down you have a heart of gold, which you admittedly like the sound of. And that the power of friendship is a bond stronger than the toughest steel, and uh, yeah, you're gonna be real. You've totally checked out of this pep talk by the time they start talking about how life is like a riverbank. Not even nautical talk can rescue this exchange. Buddy, will you quit looking at me with all the sparkles in your eyes if I got if I go to? Can't believe I'm even entertaining this. They thought you'd never ask, apparently. Take a hold of your hand with all the confidence in the world and get ready to zap the two of you back home. You better not fuck this up. <sighs> Who are you kidding? Does this dweeb look like they've ever failed at making a friend? You choose not to think about that too hard. You're welcome, buddy. You've zapped before... Reframed? Eh. My tuna's not here to tell you, uh, tell you off for fake garbage nobody cares about. Point is, this ain't your first warping rodeo. It is your first time feeling gravity in a while, though. You weren't floating on the moon, but it still felt off. This, on the other hand, is a real deal. 
So real, in fact, that you stumble to your knees from the sudden shift in weight. You're feeling the big swinging hitbox of your trident knocks over a few bookcases to the ground. Shit. That's a Rania's place, all right. You'd guess as much from the decoration, much less the framed fucking photographs on the wall. For someone so amped up about museums, she sure has one right in her hive. Her block, even. That's her recuper coon right there. Shit, you think she might be in there. Was she sleeping? How long were you talking with Porum for? Hey, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not cluck beasting out or nothing, but starting to have second thoughts here. This is suddenly waved too much pressure. I think we should split. What? They say, completely missing the fact that you're hissing these whispers out. For some reason, they think that you they think that you just need to look inside yourself and swallow your courage and uh, this intrusion had better be some sort of unpleasant dream. Suddenly it clicks, and now the both of you are terrified. You've never been privy to tired and cranky Arania, but if she's anything like you are if she's anything like you are first thing in the evening, you should run. She grips the rim of her recuperacoon and slowly starts to rise, covered in slime and hair frazzled. This may be a really bad time. You don't even know what to say. Oh, why not? Zappy 2.0, come on, let's bounce already. What's the big... Oh, what the fuck? Where'd they go? Fuck, just great. Just your fucking luck. Your luckity fucking luck. You're sweating an entire clip of fuchsia bullets and your emergency exit bailed on you. The worst part is that you can't just stab your way out of this mess. Your best friend's kind of unfortunately off limits. You gotta deal with this way out of your so-called... The way out your so-called Lucis would. Ha ha ha! Hey, sick. How's it, uh, going? Mina? Don't wear it out or nothing. Well, she's out of her recuper coop now. She almost falls flat on her face in her rush to exit her coop. I don't... That is to say, I wasn't prepared for... What are you doing here? I mean, welcome. Welcome to my hive, I guess, but... Huh? Oh, you know me, just, uh... Try your best to think of literally any excuse. Anything. Had to use a wash block. Needed something to eat. Just felt like it. Anything, Mina. The hell is wrong with you? I was just, uh, in the sub-grub. Thought I'd stop by. Weren't you on the moon? I mean, just now, I mean. Was on the moon, and now I'm here. Rania circles you like she isn't convinced you're real. Despite the fact that you're the realest bitch in this hive. You give her a little spin to show her that you're no cardboard cutout. Although my ride kind of skippered town, so I was gonna be a quick pop in. Is now, uh, however long it takes for them to come back for me. Oops. Ah, so you came here the way, same way you left. That makes a staggering amount of sense in hindsight. Far be it for me to deny you the proper before and hostess experience. Hosts. Excellent in nature. You ain't mad or anything? That was the vibe I was picking up. Arania stammers for a moment, a little thrown off balance by what you figure is a pretty straightforward question. She's beaming ear to ear like she's doing her best to keep the conversation far, far away from that topic. Well, I wouldn't want to do our first time hanging out a disservice by bringing drama into the picture. First impressions don't grow on foliage poles. You hate before in politics sometimes, but you do love not having to deal with consequences, and you guess she does make a point about this being the first time you've ever talked face to face. Fine, whatever. You leave your trident on the floor like a very respectful guest and toss yourself in her comfort sack, arms hanging over the back, and feet hiked up on the coffee table. Sure, I can deal with this. Go ahead and first impression the fuck out of me. You just had a weird conversation that ended on an extremely awkward note. You're suddenly hearing her block against her will. She's covered in soaper slime and looks half starstruck and half irritated. irritated. This sure is one hell of a first impression. Could you perhaps remove your feet from the table? At the very least, from the journal. I kind of need that. It takes you a second to realize that the journal she's been flipping out about is right under your heel. At least, you're assuming it's the same one. It's got her sign on it and everything. You lift your feet up enough for her to capture log it before putting them right back down. If she's got no stools, you gotta make do. That's how it works. Close enough. With that, she settles down in the spot next to you. She, she's about as stiff as a lamppost. Ever the example of perfect manners. She's such a dork. You know, sometimes I see you and I'm like, Yo, you'd make a better heiress than me. Seeing as how you give two shits about paying respect or whatever. Like, you sitting down just now? 
Feth would kill to see me pull something off like that. Something like that off. Or at least say something vaguely condescending. Well, I don't quite know about that. But I'm glad I'm well behaved enough to be considered. But leading others has always been your strongest suit. Whether our current Empress likes it or not, she's got a natural hatched ruler on her hands. Yeah, which would be fantastic if this were the old times and we sparred for the crown. But who knows what imperial challenge she's going to cook up for me specifically to spite me. Probably actual cooking, lol. Rania snorts quietly before clearing her throat. After a moment, you notice her fiddling with the fabric of her skirt, as if trying to flatten out every wrinkle one by one. Indeed, her imperial contents is, certainly isn't conventional, historically speaking. Neither are you, though, in your own way. I've been alive for the last six sweeps. You don't need to tell me that. Shit's been injected in me. She hums, not really committed to any one train of thought at the moment. The conversation falls quiet, and you're really starting to feel uncomfortable. You can practically feel the seconds passing by, slower and slower as you both run out of things to talk about. Ain't this usually part the part where you tell me that never thought there'd be so much quiet talking? What? Oh, ain't this usually the part where you tell me that never thought there'd be so much quiet talking to you? What's the matter with you? Oh, right. Apologies. I'm finding myself somewhat distracted this evening. Because of someone making a surprise appearance, my ThinkPan isn't exactly at full capacity either. I did mention it wasn't my fault, right? Rania sighs through her nose like she doesn't entirely believe it, but knows that you're more stubborn than she is. Regardless, can't stop thinking about Scorpina's journal. Come on, is she still going on about this? Rania, I mean this in the nicest way I care to fathom right now. Give it a rest, for fuck's sake. Mina, this is important. Our ancestors were connected in a deeply personal way. Yeah, so what? Wouldn't that mean it makes the most sense for it to show up in the throne room? I would personally elect for the book hive she spent so much time in. But the longer I read, the less likely I am finding a possibility for her. No hard feelings. Some hard feelings. Then what's the problem? It's difficult to explain. She keeps mentioning her mate sprit and how she reads her entries, despite her numerous requests not to. She gives me pause. Like, something's gonna happen if I keep reading it. It's already written out, isn't it? What's stopping you from just jumping to the last page and finding out? Boom, problem solved. Emotions kept in check. Prices averted. Seems simple to you. You'd have grabbed the book to do it yourself, she had buried in the Silidex of hers. Also, if you cared, that would help too. The context. I can't just have all that information without its necessary foundation. Tempting as it might be sometimes. Spoilers without context don't have any use, as well as completely, well, spoiling the fun. Fun? Not literally, Mina. I'm actually quite frazzled by all of these stunning revelations. Under her breath, however, she mutters something about there may be a tiny bit of enjoyment to be found that you choose to ignore. On the subject of fun, sub like submarine, I guess. You could waste a bunch of time, energy, blood, sweat, tears, etc. worrying about the dusty old tome. Waste? No. Waste, waste, waste. No employers here. Or, big or, you could remember your best friend is right glubbing here and we could do something actually worthwhile. Mina, the sun's almost up. I have class in the evening. She very clearly doesn't want to say it, but like it or not, she's always been a shining example of dis discipline. You're going to have to bust out the big guns on this one. Come on. The sooner we do it, the sooner we can get back for you to get a decent sleep schedule or whatever. Clock's ticking, let's go. Mina, how do you do it? How do you just throw caution to the wind and charge into things? Uh, generally by doing it. Next question. God, you've been talking about your phys philosophy a lot lately. Seems like everywhere you turn, you've got to justify your decisions to another one of your friends. Kind of sick of it now. No, like, how do you not worry about the consequences? How do you plan for anything that could go wrong so quickly? Swallow your fear and take the plunge? What if you hurt somebody? What if... Okay, I see the look you're giving me and I know that was a stupid question. But what if you made a mistake you would care about? She's really asking a lot of, fu a lot of fucking questions today, isn't she? Your think pants tired just processing all of her queries, let alone forming responses. You puff your cheeks in contemplation until the air just kind of deflates into feet. 
You're done talking about deep shit like this. It's time for some action. Listen, I would love nothing more than to teach you the waves of activity. Really cracking down on your brand sparkling new, flippering attitude. But school's for lame nerd shit and fish. I promise I will teach the fuck out of you if we go outside and do something right clever now. I'll walk you through the steps. No warning boat, just steps, just jump down them. No warning boat, the steps. Oh, no warning boat, the steps. Just jump down them. She's doing the scoff that you imagine she does over text. And she thinks you're joking. But you grab her shoulder and give her a little jostle. She blinks at you like an idiot. Like, right now, right now? Nah, next century, whenever you- Yes, right now! You're getting an idea. Hey, sick. Send me the bill for your window two seconds from now. Time for your first less- Your first less swim. What? Bad idea. Very bad idea. Mina? Without asking, you sweep Arania into your arms and prepare for her first lesson in boldness. Step one. Fin provisation. Hold on to your ass, Tome Wriggler. Here we go! Despite Arania's protest, you raised your feet and charged through her window. <laughs> the two of you erupt from Arania's former window with a loud fin shattering crash. Your strongest jump with your powerful sea dwelling legs and off into the night. You'll bring her back before the sun comes up. But it's time you two hang out like friends for once. She'll thank you later. <laughs> That might be it. I gotta, I gotta double check. There was one option I didn't pick. Nope. Okay. All right. That was it. A quick little intermission. Now we're, now we're caught up and befriend us. Who are the next ones? They revealed who the next ones were gonna be, and I'm not sure if you guys saw it. So let me, um, let me fill you in. I'll check their Twitter. I think one of them's Mulin. See. Yeah, it's Mulin and fucking Cankry. So we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna have to fucking deal with Cankry. Uh which is gonna be terrifying. Cankry and Mulin are next, and I'm very sorry. Oh, I'm excited for Mulin. I like Mulin. Um, but yeah, Cankery is gonna be. Cankery is gonna be kind of a nightmare. Anyways, that was uh, Befriendus. We're now caught up on that. Um, I'm gonna have to do distant quests sometime soon. Cause I'm I'm I am behind. Uh, about four stories on distant quest. Hold on. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm behind quite a lot on distant quest. So I want to see all the ABBA references we missed. There's no more ABBA references, Merm. It was just the the first one, I think. Say so you're so behind, you're in the distance. Yes, yes, you could say that. Oh, look at this. Oh, cute little pictures. I'll check the credits real quick. Writers, Intermissions 1 and 2 by, uh, Alienoid. Character artists. I, it's so, it's so good. Such good art. So quality. That's right. Alienoid is you. Congratulations, Alienoid. You did a very good job. I liked it. I like, I like them. Pester Quest 2. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next, uh, the next real ones. That, that'll be fucking fun. Okay, uh, so yeah, like I said, Distant Quest sometime soon. Probably not tomorrow, I'm busy tomorrow. Uh, maybe sometime this week. I really gotta keep getting caught up on this shit. Um, but we're gonna take a, a very temporary BRB. Um, this will be, 
uh, I don't even know what I'm, I, I'm so low energy right now. That took all the energy out of me. It was good, though. I liked it. That's why I need a minute to kind of shake myself around. Uh, we're going to be playing Persona 5 now, uh, which I have been playing for a while, and we're in endgame territory, so, uh, stick around if you want to see that, but otherwise, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you sometime soon.